Today I'm going to be ranking the Elden Ring DLC bosses based solely on how pissed off I got when fighting them. So this is not a difficulty tier list. You're going to see some really hard bosses that might have taken me a few hours and caused me legitimate back pain in some of the lower tiers simply because I was feeling more chill at that time or because I was on my medication. I'm not going to be ranking all the boss fights, just the ones that I found more noteworthy or that I actually had footage of. And in general, I avoided using summons and you can assume I didn't use them unless I tell you I did. I like when random internet strangers think that I'm better at things than I actually am. But by the end of this video, you're probably going to think I'm trash of this game anyway, so it's a futile effort. Let's go. Down in C tier, we got Midra, Scouty Tree Avatar, Romina, Saint of the Bud, and Putrescent Knight. None of these bosses got me too frustrated or anything. I had a considerably easy time with all of them. I did have a few moments where I was like, what the hell is that hitbox, man? Or, oh my god, why do you have three health bars? But overall, I found them easy to learn, and none of them stood a chance against my big-ass sword. My favorite fight out of these was Midra. It had its difficulty, but I found it extremely fun and learned it decently quick. Also, side note, Romina is probably the most forgettable boss in this DLC for me. She just wasn't showing enough skin. In B tier, I've got Metter, Mother of Fingers, Lana, Radon, Gank Squad, and Commander Gaius. Meta annoyed me because I got her super low on one of my first attempts, and then after that I just started playing like an idiot, but overall I feel like she's an easy boss that my brain just couldn't handle for whatever reason. The worst thing about her is her little side finger blast attack where she'll be like, ooh. Like, don't get me wrong, I like a little bit of finger action, but don't stick it too far in. Then we got Rolana. This boss actually took me like two to three hours, but I really couldn't complain about anything because the fight felt completely fair and it was just me sucking. The only irritating part about it was how long I was taking on it. One thing you might notice here is that I'm using Moonveil and inspect into magic, but I just, uh wasn't using any magic. I was handicapping myself for absolutely no reason without realizing it when I should have done a respec, equipped another weapon in my offhand, or just used the magic. And this is a recurring issue for some of the other bosses. I think I would have had an easier time with them if I just didn't have a peanut brain. Eventually, I did end up swapping to the Ancient Meteoric or Great Sword, and let me tell you, once you go the way of the bonk, you never look back. Radon. I probably took another two to three hours on Radon. It could be closer to four, but when I first got to his phase two, I was fully prepared to spend the next three days learning and fighting him, and there was a small part of me that was unsure if I would ever beat him. It didn't take me too long to completely learn his phase one and basically get it flawless unless he does this bullshit quick double attack thing which i really think is one of the worst parts about him because sometimes he'll punish you with it and sometimes he won't i just could not dodge the second attack on it i ate it every single time on one of my attempts i got him down to literally one hp and after that i was like oh yeah i can just use all of my rune arcs now because this is the final boss and the very first time i used the rune arc i killed him with one hp and no more flask charges but she give me him again and i'll do it first try his second phase is probably the most intimidating second phase that any boss could ever have have and it took me a while to learn it but god damn is it fun and I didn't get that mad because of how badass it was and because it was the final boss and I knew that it had to be ridiculously hard or should I say redonkulously hard <laughs> also because it's redon I just can't get too mad about the fan service there this fight was incredibly hard but I loved it gank squad I so desperately wanted to defeat gank squad without using any of the NPC summons but as soon as they brought out that fifth enemy I said there's five of them never mind I don't care anymore I am summoning you Ansbach and it didn't take me too long after that to finish this fight with minimal frustration and commander Gaius also in B tier I was irritated with him at first. His boar charge has a bullshit hitbox that requires perfect timing, so I equipped a talisman that gives you extra iframes on the roll, and after doing that, I beat him pretty quickly because that charge that he does is the single worst thing about him. Also, his boar's rear kick is pretty annoying. I've also learned since then that apparently you can just jump to the side to dodge his boar charge. The fact that I never tried this is really just a testament to how silly I am. All right, now we're getting into A tier. Dancing Lion and Mesmer are in A tier. Dancing Lion annoyed the hell out of me, and it might be because I was rusty after not playing Elden Ring for like two years, and of course you fight him pretty early on into the DLC but I also tend to have a harder time with most non-humanoid bosses. I just found it difficult to keep up with what was going on. The camera was a struggle to deal with. This is a boss that I actually did use a summon on because I just didn't care to deal with it anymore. This is also another instance where I was using Moonveil and specced into magic and just not using it like a dumb little ducky. But I did have a much easier time later down the road fighting the second version of him, so yeah. I think I just sucked a little bit more on the first encounter with him. Mesmer. Mesmer was a pain in the ass for me. He's hyper aggressive like most bosses in the DLC. At a certain point, I could consistently get him to phase two, but those snakes that come out are insane. I just found them hard to predict and just got overwhelmed in general. At first, I thought they needed to tone down the fire effects on him because it seemed like they mask a lot of his moves and make it too hard to see, but after learning him enough, I didn't find it to be that much of an issue. But that's probably just what happens when you fight the same boss for like two and a half hours. It was a tough fight, but I actually really enjoyed it. And now we got S tier, and there is only one boss in this tier, and that is Bale the Dread. Fuck this boss. This boss pissed me off like no other. I was genuinely raging at him. I would rather fight any other boss on this list. I would rather spend three hours reading the fucking Bible than fighting this guy for three hours. And honestly, thinking about it more, I might have spent closer to four to five hours on this guy. They really need to add a built-in death counter for bosses. And the only reason
reason I didn't get more angry is because of how fucking amazing his fight looks. Seriously, visually, it is one of the coolest boss fights I've ever seen. And also visually, he's one of the coolest dragons I've ever seen. There's just so much shit going on in this boss fight. You're fighting the camera a lot of the time, and I think I was just extra irritated because we just fought a dragon boss before this guy, and then there were those jagged peak dragons and the ghost dragons, and I just, I'm, I'm sick of dragons. I hate fighting dragons. I've never liked fighting them in any FromSoft game. They're just not fun to me. I'm also just not patient enough for them, so I tend to struggle with them. But this is easily the coolest dragon fight there is. His fight is a cinematic experience. Overall, it was extremely badass, but also extremely frustrating. However, I struggled on this guy and I had to summon for him. I spent like 90% of my attempts without using the Mimic tier and just summoning Egon because I thought I had to to progress his quest line, which I'm still not even sure if you have to do that. But when you do summon Egon, they put it inside the arena and people drop messages on the summon. And it was very frustrating. Fuck you guys. But at the same time, I love you guys for being the menace that you are. Also, also, Bale does that bullshit fire attack while you're trying to summon and that really just multiplied how pissed off I got fighting him. I call this fire attack bullshit because of this instance right here. The fire is going in a straight line as it should. I've got some decent distance from it. Then last second, boom, it forks out and hits me. Like, what did I do wrong? Was I supposed to just keep running instead of dodging? I don't know. It's probably not bullshit and I just suck as per usual. But again, I was using my stupid dex intelligence build without actually using magic here. Basically entirely relying on transient moonlight to do anything. And I think if I get another chance at Bale with a different build and without summoning, I'd probably have a much easier time with him. But still, this boss made me the angriest out of any of the bosses in the Elden Ring DLC. Curse you, Bale. Thank fucking God this stupid bitch ass dragon, stupid ass 